Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how I painted these two sunset silhouette paintings with watercolors. So let's get started. I'm using my Fabriano cold press paper block for this demonstration. I taped the borders with washi tape so I could keep a white border around each painting. I also sketched the palm trees and the city skyline in pencil directly on the paper. By the way, if this is your first visit, my name is Aura and I teach drawing and painting techniques, specializing in watercolor, so if you want to learn more, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm starting on the palm tree painting, and I will start with carbazole violet on top and work my way down to yellow on the bottom. This will be a mostly cool toned painting, while the cityscape will be in warm tones. I'm using Daniel Smith and Windsor Newton colors and my favorite black velvet brushes. I also used a masking pen for the sun, and since that didn't work out very well, I used white fluid acrylic instead. I will list all the supplies I used, along with purchase links, in the video description. I want to make this a subtle color shift. To achieve this, I paint on dry paper. Once I went down as far as I wanted to with the purple, I add quinacridone violet. I keep painting in horizontal strokes to lightly blend the two colors. I need to work quickly before the paint dries, so then I add a bright opera pink and repeat the blending process. Finally, I add the Windsor Lemon below the pink. The opera pink is a nice bridge color between the purple and yellow, since if I were to put the yellow and purple right next to each other, it would make a dull neutral, not what you want in a vibrant sunset. Here I'm just adding the pink and the yellow in stripes to kind of make an orangey color between the pink and the yellow. While the paper is still a little wet, I add some clouds. Opera pink into the yellow and quinacridone violet and carbazole violet above. The dampness of the paper helps to make soft edges. Afterwards, I intensify the cloud colors a little bit and use a damp brush to further soften some of the edges that looked a little too sharp and hard. The sky is completely dry, so I will paint the palm trees. I mixed indigo with carbazole violet to give me a really dark value to contrast against the sky. I lost the pencil lines a little, so I'm first going to paint the spines of each palm frond just to keep track of where they are. These kinds of palm trees are pretty easy to paint and a lot of fun too. I'm using the fine tip of my round brush to lightly sweep away from the center line though for the more awkward angles and since I can't turn my paper as I paint, I also carefully paint from the outer edge towards the center, still trying to keep the tips very fine. 
To give these palms some realism, the fronds are painted at different angles. You can see some where the center is directly in the center of the wispy leaves. The one on the left here is a sideways angle where the leaves are only seen on this front side, and others where the leaves are shorter than on the other side like they are in three-quarter profile. I add the trunk, which sweeps down in an arc towards the right side of the paper. I imagine these palms are growing right on the beach and hanging over the ocean. And the next palm tree is just repeating the process from the first one. I decided to go over some of the tree areas again with a darker mix of indigo, since the top tree in particular did not have enough contrast against the purple sky. The next sunset is with the New York City skyline. I'm starting with my masking pen on dry paper, masking out the area of the sun. Once this dried, I approach this sunset differently than the palm trees one by wetting the entire painting first, even below the skyline area. I start using the lightest color first, which is Windsor Lemon. I paint them from side to side and leave some white in between. The next color is Indian Yellow, which I'm painting over some of the brighter yellow, and some in the white areas as well. My paper is still nice and wet, so I get very soft blendings between these colors. The next color is Scarlet Lake, and then some of that bright opera pink. I keep adding these colors until I'm happy with the value, but I'm careful not to overblend the colors. Now that the sky is dry, I can paint the skyline. Instead of a dark silhouette like with the palm trees, I wanted to make a warm, deep, orangey-brown color like it's all covered in that glowing sunlight. I start by mixing burnt sienna with scarlet lake and start painting on dry paper. I need to take my time staying in the lines, and I realize that since I need to paint a little slowly, I will end up with hard edges within the silhouette, which I don't want. So I use my oval brush and add water to the bottom of the building's area so that when I bring the color down, it will soften.
Once I have the tops of the city buildings all filled in, and while it's still wet, I add some more pure Scarlet Lake and some burnt umber to intensify the contrast. Once I'm done with the silhouette, I remove the masking fluid from the sky. Unfortunately, this was a masking pen I haven't used very much before, and I think I pressed it too hard into the paper so it didn't remove completely. I fixed it by adding white ink and mixed it with a little Windsor lemon, and that did a pretty good job of covering up the blemish. Once it's completely dry, I remove the sheet from the block, take away the washi tape to reveal the clean white borders, and cut them into two. I had a lot of fun painting these little sunsets, and I hope you give them a try. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials like this one. If you want to learn even more about watercolor painting, select one of these videos on the left side of the screen. Happy painting, and I hope you join me for my next video. Bye!